I made memberships. Join if you like. Bounces. Now, one thing we got too familiar with in PE class. They made it just right! But I'm not gonna talk about bouncing just yet. There's one thing I missed in my previous popping video that I didn't say. And that is the space beam pop. It's a pop where you just so happen to get way too much airtime. This pop is so RNG that the universe decides if you get to pop that high or not. And that is no exaggeration. Since these pops can't be replicated all the time, I am going to assume that this has to do with things in space that determine if you pop that high. And this is not me being crazy. As already shown previously, this clip was recorded in 2015. This was well before mods ever entered the sphere of Skate 3. <laughs> <laughs> Since these pops only show up once in a blue moon, I am going to be referencing this video. In this video, they talk about a clip from Mario 64. Mario 64 has an incredible speedrunning community. So when this clip service about this dude warping from the bottom to the top of TikTok clock, everyone went nuts. People spent years trying to figure out how he warped from the bottom to the top, when it actually turned out that it was a bit flip. Without getting too fancy schmancy on computer science terms, basically, a cosmic ray came from space, hit this man's console, and just told the console that Mario is actually on this y-axis instead of that y-axis, which then led to the warp. So, to put it back into Skate 3, a space beam comes from space, hits your console, and then tells the game, you're gonna now pop 50 feet in the air. That's basically where the space beam pop is, and you cannot determine when it's gonna happen. Unless you can consistently show me how to get this pop to go that high, I believe that these pops are done from the universe. Now back to bounces. As said previously in the last video, bounces are anything that you can get high off of that doesn't involve you flicking a trick. So, the first bounce I'm going to talk about is you flicking a trick. The three shove bounce is the only glitch that is known to have been patched since 1.0 release of the game. To do this glitch, you can't be faster than a one push speed. Any faster this glitch won't work. Also, you can't be in straight. I had to figure that out the hard way after not doing this glitch in so long. Why isn't it working? What you have to do is do a three shove and then in the air, grab backside and then get off your board right before you hit the ground. Doing it correctly, you'll get about 30 feet of air, but this only works on pre-patched or so we thought. It turns out you could still do this glitch post patch by doing the same button combination but then opening up object dropper while doing so. The only downside to this is that you won't be able to do any tricks while you're in the air. Unlike pre-patch where you could. But you can still do tricks in the air post-patch if you were online by switching cameras. So make sure someone's in your lobby. The other bounce where you totally don't have to flick another trick would be the late flip bounce. Or that speed glitch I talked about previously. Uh, you can get both things out of it. So remember that grind pop I talked about in my last video? Well, it turns out if you were to slide down a set of stairs on a dark slide, yes, you can do that and start spamming your triggers, you will also get a bounce. But you know what also bounces? Big Black in Skate 2. In Skate 2, we were introduced to the Super Dude. Well, with Big Black's bouncing properties and a Super Dude, you were able to balance off ledges as Big Black. But you couldn't do that with any other character. Until Skate 3. The Super Dude was back in Skate 3, and much bouncier. There's a neat little party trick that you can only perform at Mega Park. To look cool in front of your friends, all you have to do is take two pushes towards this direction, grab both triggers, and hold B or circle, and you'll just do a Super Dude as soon as you catch air and will bounce into the sky. But to do the big black Super Dude bounce off a ledge, all you need to find is a ledge that you can just barely clear over, and just do a Super Dude right over it. That simple, really. But what if you wanted to bounce on flat with a Super Dude? Well, you can. Again, you're gonna need one push speed. Simply push, do a bean plant and hold a super dude. Simple. You will also get a similar result if you were to caveman into it. To do this bounce, all you need to do is jump up in the air, get on the board at the peak here jump, and then hold a super dude and you will bounce. So we can do these bounces on flat, but what if we did it on a slant? There are some areas in the game where the road just dips down just a bit to where you can do a super dude bounce and catch significant air, like the beginning of Mega Park or this little bump by the bridge. There are many more like this throughout the world. So, happy hunting, I'm not gonna show you all of them. Now that I showed all the Super Dude bounces, we can finally move on. Jesus. Oh, what the fuck? How'd you get that bounce? <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, there's one more. In Skate 3, you can do what we call a no-hand grab. That's just a no-grab. But to get a no-hand grab, you have to tap the opposite trigger of what's the grab you're trying to hold. For example, to do a no-handed judo, 
since I'm on Goofy, the buttons for Judo are an RT and X. I would tap LT, do a gesture, and then do a Judo. Thus, no hands are being touched on the board while doing the Judo. But because of these button combinations, that means you can do it with a bean plant. So, tap LT, but this time spam the gesture button, do the bean plant, spam a couple more gestures, and do a super dude. Doing this will bounce you into the air, giving you various differences of heights. So don't be discouraged about Hurt's high popping ability. Jesus. Quick question, has this ever happened to you? If so, call a doctor, that doesn't look good. But for Skate 3, however, when doing a no comply, there's this little stall in the animation during the part where you get air. And in that stall, that is where you bail and will get kicked back about 10-15 feet. It's not the most useful thing in the world, but it's something. Another party trick that gets you off to your friends is the ledge bounce. Simply find a ledge that's like shoulder or head height, stand right next to it, and make sure whichever hand is holding that board is facing that ledge. Jump in the air, press R1 or RB so your arms go over the ledge, and then get right back on your board. This will bounce you a good 15-20 feet, where the game will tell you that this trick did not count at that game of skate you are playing. There's also a different variation where you have to run off the side of the quarter pipe and get on your board. I've tested this on ledges, it really doesn't work the same. Now another unusual bounce would be dropping in. No wait, hold on, that's just gravity taking course. Wait, did I say this already? What the hell? Okay, regardless of the deja vu, there is such a thing called a drop in bounce, where you drop in and start spamming your triggers. Why isn't it working? So apparently this drop in method doesn't really work when you drop in to a quarter pipe that you're supposed to be able to drop in. Instead, the game allows you to drop in on any ledge that is possible. So find a ledge and start spamming your triggers. There's a lot of trigger spamming bounces now that I think about it. Another drop in bounce involves you doing a hippie. Are those two things even possible together? Basically, as of right now, there's only one spot that I know of that is at the ditch. You can drop in on this corner of the ditch and then try to do a hippie flip. Timing it correctly will bounce you up high enough to get on top of the building behind you. But if you so wanted to, you could set it up in your own park editor. I swear to God, it falls on me one more time. So you remember the late pop I introduced while going off a curb? That also works for foot plants and no complies. The foot plant one had an origins where it began in Skate 2. But to do this one in Skate 3, however, simply find a ledge and then perfectly time a bean plant where your foot starts to extend upwards once hitting the ground. And it also does work with no complies as well. So doing up a different ledges will give you different heights of bounces. But it also doesn't end there. All you really need to have to do is have your foot start extending upwards once you hit the ground. You can even do it off the wall. And uh, this is the only physical evidence that I have of it. From what I was told, it's a one in a million and it's very hard to do. So this is the closest thing I've gotten. And this is the final result of what it would look like if you did hit it successfully. And now finally, this is unfortunately the last bounce I'm gonna be talking about. This will be the most RNG bounce of all time. It's called the speed glitch bounce. Again, oh, I got it. You ever had that moment when you're going for a speed glitch and you ended up getting bounced? Well, let me tell you, you're not the only one. And also, you're also not the only one in wondering how this fucking works, because no one knows how it works. Sometimes the game just lets you bounce off a speed glitch. Other times the speed glitch will just work as normal. But we have no clue how this bounce actually works, leaving it to be the most RNG bounce that we have. And no, this is no space beam bounce because it happens way too often than it should. You know, I say these things, but then I go ahead and try to look for said clips about people trying to do a speed glitch bounce, but there's just none there to prove my point. Where are they? All right, guys, sorry, that's my time. I have now covered all the bounces that is possible to do in Skate 3 as of now. It's always work in progress, remember that. So to keep up with the consistency of this video, I will now be exiting the screen using a space beam. You know what, fuck it, let's talk about launches. Launches are very close to bounces, so I might as well talk about them since there's not that many of them in the first place. But I will not be talking about the launches that you get from using objects. So, red bench launch, fuck that, get out of here, we don't need you, I can do that off of any object. But you, RB launch, on the other hand, I've talked about you in the previous video, so you can get out of here too. I'm gonna start off with the most notable one, the late back foot heel launch. This glitch is one of the very few glitches where you have to spawn on your feet in order to do this. First, you have to have your style in OG. 
Oh, so you can't do it in straight? I was trying to do it in straight for hours, but this is the best I can get. Then, spawn your feet, jump in the air, at the peak of your jump, get back on your board, and do a late nollie heel. The window on this bounce is just as short as the backwards man, maybe even less. But if you do it correctly, you will shoot up in the sky, and you will get reset due to your timer. The next launch I'll talk about is online specific. This involves you getting clipped through the ground and placing a marker. To clip through the ground, you either have to hold a Christ air or a no foot air. And right before you hit the ground, you then hold on to the other trigger, making you do a super dude. In that animation, you end up falling through the floor. And this can only be done on easy. Going into the super dude animation may cause you slipping right through the floor, but we want to do it just a little bit earlier so it sticks us right in the ground. This trick also exploits another mechanic about placing markers. Certain areas of the map won't allow us to place a marker. By switching our camera to someone who is actually in a place where you can place a marker, you use their position to place a marker. So, when we're halfway stuck into the ground, the game won't let us place one. So you just swap cameras and place a marker. Now, all that is left is to go back to your marker. The game will freak out, causing you to drip into the world, but all you have to do is just bail, and it will launch you 50 feet in the air. And finally, I have one more Super Dude glitch to go over. Bye, have a great time. This glitch works exactly how you get stuck into the ground, except you have to do it on a slope, and not all slopes will allow you to launch like this. The key factor to this is that the slope has to have some ground underneath it. Without any ground underneath it, you will not be able to launch at places like this. So given these guidelines, you would assume that this ramp right here would also do the trick. It does not because your body will just clip into it. If you could find flooring underneath any slope, that would mean that rooftops are your safest bets to get any launch of this sort. I'm sure you noticed I didn't go through every launch on that list, but most of them were either one in a million or done on pre-patch, and I'll get to those glitches later on in a different video. So until then, see you next time. Holy shit! Oh! <laughs> I just- yo! Holy shit! <laughs> yep, put that on a video. Clock tower, Jesus. PCU library, can I get to Mega Park? Observatory Path? Oh, University Ditch? Oh, Ditch. Oh, shit. What the? Oh, my God.